everybody. So today we're going to be starting with the distributive property. Okay, so it says to use the distributive property to simplify each expression. And uh, what that basically means is to distribute. That's, that's literally all it's saying. So you take number one and you distribute the two to both the two and the three x. So now it's four plus six x or six x plus four doesn't matter because of the commutative property, which is another one. Uh, so yeah, it can be either of these. Number two, same thing, 15 plus 15 x because you just distribute out the three, 12 x minus 32 and um, this one is a negative 2 so you multiply negative 2 to, to both so this is a technically speaking this is 6x plus a negative 2 and then you just multiply the negative 2 to that and so then over here that's a negative 12x plus and then um, that's multiplying a negative 2 and a negative 2 which is just a 4, so you get negative 12x plus 4. Okay, um, this one, same thing, negative 3x minus 6. Okay, on to the next section, which is simplifying polynomial expressions. And um, simplifying polynomial expressions, first thing you want to do is distribute, because that's something you have to do with negatives um, because this is a negative 1. So it's 2x cubed plus 5x squared minus 12x minus 2x squared. Okay? And now what you want to do is pair like terms. And like terms would be terms in which the variable is the same. Okay? This is coefficient. This is variable. And so uh, 2x cubed there are no like terms for 2x cubed, so that's just there. And then plus 5x squared and minus 2x squared, they both have x squared. And so you take 5x squared and you subtract, two, uh, you subtract 2x squared, and you get positive 3x squared. And then this, is also has, this also has no um, like terms, so you just put this down as is, minus 12x. So it's 2x cubed plus 3x squared minus 12x. Okay, um, for this one, 2x to the fifth plus 2x cubed minus 7x cubed plus 6x squared. Okay, um, 2x to the fifth is by itself. And then after that, you see... 2x cubed and then negative 7x cubed so you add those together and you get you get minus uh, excuse me I'm just trying to get this to work um okay uh but there it is um, let's see. So then you take the positive 2x squared and you take the negative 7x, 2x cubed, negative 7x cubed, and then you add them together, which is uh, a negative 5x cubed. And then this is a standalone no like terms, so it's plus 6x squared. Uh, let's do one more and then move on. Let's do number four, 14x minus, 14x minus 3x squared minus 12x squared minus 12x cubed. Okay, because you're distributing the negative two. Uh, negative 12x cubed, no like terms. And then you have the negative 3x squared right here, and a negative 12x squared right here, and so you need to add those together, negative 3x squared plus a negative 12x squared, which results in a negative 15x squared, and then 
plus a 14x piece of this right here. Okay, on to the next section, which is graphing inequalities. So it's to draw a graph for each inequality. Okay, so uh, when graphing inequalities, you have to first take into mind the number and then the sign. And so first, uh, two. Okay, so whatever you do, it's going to be based around this two over here. So x has to be greater than two. x has to be greater than two, which means that x is everything from here to here. Now the question is, is it greater than or equal to, or is it just greater than? Because if it's greater than or equal to, if it's greater than or equal to, so if there's this bar underneath, that means that this would be a uh, a closed circle. Because that means 2 is included in what x could possibly be. But uh, in this case, that's not that's not the case. It's not uh, greater than or equal to. It's just greater than. That's what the sign means, obviously. And so it's an open circle. Okay. And so as long as it's greater than 2, it's, uh, that, that's what x is. x is anything greater than 2. Um, okay, number 2, x is less than 5. So you take 5, and x is less than 5. So it's going this way. And uh, x is less than no bar, no equal to, so it's an open circle. Uh, that's basically the concept for all of this, really. Negative 1, because it's greater than, and then greater than means you go to the right. Okay, on to the next section, which is square roots. And uh, this, uh, it's the opposite of exponents, obviously. The square root of 0 is just 0, because 0 squared is equal to 0. One, square root of 1 is 1 because 1 squared is equal to 1. Square root of 4 is 2 because 2 squared is equal to 4. Okay, so 2 squared is equal to 4. And the square root of 4 is equal to 2, if that makes sense. Uh, let's see. This is 4 because 4 squared is 16. This is 3 because 3 squared is 9. And this is 5 because 5 squared is 25. Again, okay, you take 5 and you square it. And you get 25. And if you find a square root of 25, you get 5. Okay, and so that, that's the relationship between 25 and 5 squared and roots. Uh, that's it for this week. Have a nice day.